Welcome to this tutorial video. This is online to help her. Very quickly in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step procedure on how you can set up Simbra WebMail and send unlimited emails. So let me take you to uh, my web page and let's see what Zimbra is actually. So right here, the AI overview says Zimbra functions as a robust email and collection platform offering features like email management, calendar integration, contact management, and document storage. So accessible through a web interface and various client applications, which means you can set it up on um, OS, like using Ubuntu, using Contabo, sorry, using Ubuntu or using CentOS. So down here, you can see Simbra server is a dedicated server that manage all the mailbox content including messages contacts and calendar so it has um this cloud base that can um, automatically stall your email while you are sending out just like you using a gmail sending out so it's you having a gmail okay let me put it this way we all know gmail yahoo and Hotmail. so now you having your own server which can store and send bulk emails out just like image um, email platform so that's what simbra is so how do you set this up in my notepad here i have uh, the requirements which you're going to be need to set this up. and the first requirement is you having an ubuntu vps you can get your vps from ubuntu you can get it from contabo you can get your vps from um, ovh cloud or you can get it for whatever so far the uh, 25 is open so you can make use of it and we have the memory so it has to be minimum of 8 gig ram so recommended is 16 gig ram so you can check the pricing list and make sure you get 8 gig ram then we have the cpu make sure you buy four four fee cpu for you to use because uh, simbra require a lot of memory and it's require a very strong vps to be able to comprehend with it so now to get your vps you go to ovh cloud you can just buy um, us.ovh.com so from this part so from here you can go to the bmfr vps and from this place you can you get either get your dedicated server or you should get your vps so depend on your budget so i'm going to pick the vps part from this so when you scroll down you can see this have a just good two gig ram these have a four gig ram and this is 16 gig ram this is preferably for you to buy 16 gig ram if you can scroll down you can see other options to choose from and you can see this is 18 dollars and this is from 4 gig to 16 gig you can still get this and recommended you can get this 8 to 32 gig ram or you should get this 45 dollars which is 16 gig of ram so when you click on this configured it takes you to the part to pick your um info details like your window your os installation and there you're going to be picking ubuntu so you can see you have to choose your image you go to the distribution only then you pick ubuntu 22 let's go for ubuntu 22.04 then you click on continue from here it asks you to log in if you are a member you log in and you can sign up from this part you just click on continue and make your payment you can either make your payment through paypal or you should make your payment through um your credit card so whichever one that is okay by you make your payment and get your vps ready okay then the next thing we're going to be needing here i already have my vps which i'm going to be using so there is no need of me buying another one either. so the other thing which we're going to be using is a domain. You actually need to have your domain, and I'm going to be using this domain. You can get your domain from Namecheap. I believe you should know how you can purchase one. But in case you don't know, just log on to Namecheap.com. From there, you can search for your favorite domain, your selected domain. And if it's available, then you should make a purchase for one. So in this video, I'm going to be making use of this. So without wasting much time, let's get in into the video. So welcome back. We're going to be needing um, Byte Vice in this course, so you can just search Byte Vice in case you don't have Byte Vice. Byte Vice SSH client. So you go to the main website, which is this download Byte Vice SSH client. So click on that. Then 
this is the software here so you click on bitfire ssh installer then immediately it starts installing right from this place so once the installation is done try to install the software and once you're done installing the software it's going to have something like this this interface will comes out for you and here yeah, this is where you can put your vps ip your username will be here and your password will be here then you can log in and start working so i'm going to put in my host ip the username and the password so we can get started with our work of the day so after putting in your host and the username and password so you can click on login so we have the login successful here. Then you click on open your terminal console from here. Okay, open your terminal console. And we have this. So the first thing for us to check um, is to check the host name. And uh, host name. Put to check 